New York, this college basketball season could be one unlike any other. The season is set to tip off weeks after the FBI arrested 10 people, including major school assistants, in a wide-ranging corruption investigation into college basketball. Louisville coach Rick Pitino has also been fired after the family of recruit Brian Bowen was allegedly funneled $100,000 in exchange for a commitment to the school. As the Big Ten officially kicked off its season on Wednesday with its media day in New York, the investigation, potential reforms and the state of college basketball was a common topic. It's not all right, and we've got to do something about it, Michigan State coach Tom Izzo said of the situation. Michigan, Michigan State guaranteed to play twice per year under new Big Ten scheduling format. Michigan, Michigan State guaranteed to play twice per year under new Big Ten scheduling format. The in-state rival schools will become a protected rivalry under a new Big Ten scheduling formula to be implemented in 2018-19. Big Ten Commissioner Jim Delaney said he's concerned about the situation, but also said he's not shocked. He pointed out that this is at least the ninth time the FBI has gotten involved in the sport, dating back to gambling investigations from the 1950s. I do think it starts with abiding by the rules that we all agree to, Delaney said. You may disagree with the rules and their methods for changing those both at the NCAA, some people go to court. But until rules are changed, you abide by the rules, period. Delaney said nobody at the Big Ten has been contacted by the government. Michigan coach John Baylane also said he hopes the investigation prompts more coaches to start following the rules. These are the rules, you follow the rules, and you follow the spirit of the rule, not just find a way around the rule, Baylane said. I think overall, if that comes out of it, we're in a much better place. Michigan State coach Tom Izzo said he's become more selective in recent years in the players that he's recruited to avoid recruiting player who are seeking payoffs. If I know they're involved with three or four schools that I think could be going that way, just get out of it, Izzo said. That's what I've done the last three or four years for the most part. Moving to Madison Square Garden, Wednesday's event took place in the theater lobby of Madison Square Garden. Three months from now, the iconic sports venue will serve as the site of the Big Ten tournament for the first time. The move has been met with mixed reaction from Big Ten fans, as the conference continues to take its tournament outside of its traditional Midwest footprint. Last year's tournament was held in Washington, D.C. Bay Lane, who coached in a conference tournament Madison Square Garden yearly, when he coached at West Virginia, was particularly enthusiastic about the switch. I think it's going to be tremendous, Baylane said. Our fans, I mean, who does not want to go and spend a few days in New York City? I think for all the fans, there's so much to do, and it's a great idea. The tournament is scheduled to return to the United Center in Chicago in 2019 and 2021 and Indianapolis in 2020 and 2022. Past that, Delaney said he hopes to see a future split with 80% of conference tournaments being held at sites in the Midwest and 20% on the East Coast. He said any future sites or cities beyond 2022 haven't been decided. Week off, along with the move to Madison Square Garden, comes a change in schedule. The 2018 Big Ten tournament will be held February 28 March 4, a week earlier than normal. That means, for teams that qualify for the NCAA tournament, there will be nearly two weeks off between the conference tournament and the Big Ten tournament. Coaches from around the league wait in on how they plan to use the time and whether they think the week off is good or bad. Purdue coach Matt Painter said the week off doesn't pose a large issue. I don't think it's anything huge, Painter said. It's not a huge adjustment. Obviously you're going to have that week off and hopefully it's that week off where you feel comfortable about getting into the NCAA tournament. Baylane said he dealt with a week off while coaching at Canisius in Richmond, and also didn't find it overly disruptive. It wasn't as disruptive as I think some people think it would be, Baylane said. You deal with it, and the ends justify the means.
20-game schedule, along with the move to protected rivalries in the Big Ten next season, comes a move to a 20-game conference schedule. The league currently plays an 18-game conference schedule. Delaney said that the move adds quality games to each team's schedule. Maryland coach Mark Turgeon said he hopes the move helps the league land more teams in the NCAA tournament on a regular basis. I think the idea behind the 20-game schedule is hopefully to get more teams into the NCAA tournament, Turgeon said. And data showed when we went from 16 to 18, we started getting more teams in the tournament. So hopefully that's the case when we go to 20, because that's such a big part of today's world.